Hello, I'm Dan Alford. Welcome to the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. This week we're talking about plasma keyhole welding. I always get a kick out of folks' reaction when they first learn about plasma keyhole. No other welding process allows you to make full penetration wells on a variety of metals up to 3 8 of an inch thick without a bevel and without filler materials. The arc punches through the part creating a keyhole and then the joint fills behind the arc making a narrow deep weld through the entire section. Before you go and redesign all your parts with square butt joints I need to tell you about the limitations of the process. A keyhole is an autogenous process meaning you're simply melting the two pieces together. The implication of this is you must have good tight joints without gaps. Any gaps will result in underfilled joints at best and holes in your weld at worst. Another issue is keyhole really isn't practical by hand. You must use some kind of mechanization to move the torch relative to the part. And the final issue is making and then filling the keyhole. Plasma keyhole differs from normal plasma welding in that the plasma gas flow rate is increased to the point that the plasma column punches through the part, much like a plasma cutting torch. The best way to form a keyhole is to start the arc at lower gas flow and amperage then increase both variables until a keyhole is formed. To fill the keyhole at the end of the weld you must ramp amperage and gas flow back down. The use of runoff tabs at the beginning and the end of the weld simplifies this but some configurations won't allow the use of runoff tabs in which case you must create and fill the keyhole without making weld defects. The biggest issue is joint fit up. Even under perfect joint conditions there will be some underfill at the top of the bead since there's always some weld reinforcement at the root. This root bead reinforcement is metal which had to come from somewhere. Sometimes this underfilled cap is acceptable but typically it's not. One trick we've used is to keyhole weld the joint then make a second pass with melt in parameters rather than keyhole and add filler wire. This is a great technique but it doubles your welding time. Another technique is to add filler wire into the trailing edge of the puddle. This works but you have the challenge of wire positioning and it's difficult to add a small volume of wire. Today's video is about how to make sound full penetration keyhole wells without underfill even when your joint gaps are too large for standard keyhole techniques. You can view my other videos on plasma to better understand why I'm such a fan of the process, particularly for robotic welding. The tungsten's protected, the arc is collimated, the current density is high, and you can do some interesting things with shielding gas when you separately control shield and plasma gases. And for me, the fact that you can add filler materials in the form of powder is the most significant advantage, and that's what we're showcasing today. We've built plasma overlay machines which use powder filler materials for a variety of ground engaging corrosion and metal on metal wear applications, but we've never used powder for joining until now. Long ago my buddy Chip Arata suggested that powder additions to the keyhole welding process might be useful. Fast forward to 2021 and we finally went into the lab to investigate. We're butt welding 4mm 300 series stainless plate with a plasma torch designed for powder overlay welding. We adjusted parameters to create the keyhole, then we started playing with powder additions. Overlay torches feed powder into the arc through a ring of powder ports drilled into the anode or the plasma constricting nozzle. Any powder fed into the leading edge of the weld puddle is expelled through the keyhole and wasted. Using a modified nozzle, we're able to introduce powder into the back of the puddle. Results were encouraging. We can produce full penetration welds with reinforcement on both the root and the cap in a single pass. We can handle small joint gaps and we're currently investigating the limits of the process. Powder allowed us to add a small amount of filler material without the added complexity of wire alignment. Since we're welding stainless, we use 5% hydrogen which scavenges oxides and improves weld quality. The presence of the keyhole flushes out contaminations and oxides, another feature which is unique to the process. Keyhole is typically limited to flat positions, steel, titanium, nickel alloys up to 3 8 of an inch thick. Surprisingly, aluminum can be welded in thicker samples and the welds can be made in the vertical position. So if you have a full penetration weld that you think plasma keyhole might solve your problems, contact me. Dave and Jim can run some samples for you in our laboratory. We look forward to posting new episodes of the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of Arc Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.